All right, guys. New Age Tactical back with another video. Saturday. Short. So, sandbars. Keep it on the theme. These are the UST. Emergency food ration. Five years shelf life. Apple cinnamon flavored. Five years as always. Vacuum pack for long shelf life. Stock up for hurricanes, blizzards, tornadoes, and earthquakes. Each 18-ounce packet contains six... 400 calorie food bars providing a total of 2400 calories so if you just go by the bar it's 400 calories 19 fats 19 9 saturated fat zero trans zero cholesterol 10 sodium 51 carbs protein 7 so it seems to be all the sandbars are five years no matter what which is bizarre because you would think something like this would be like 100 years or a company sooner or later would come up with more than five years Smells like from under cheese. <laughs> They're not individually wrapped. Oh, shit. is that just out in the open? That's a fat sandbar, dude. Oh, the smell is. It smells. It smells like rotted fruit tart. Oh, it does smell like rotten fruit. Oh, it's divided like that. Yeah. It is fat. And squares. Four, eight. So that's Damn. 400 calories for that whole fucking brick. You gotta eat. Holy sh. Do I need to cut that with a knife? That's. Dude. <laughs> Is it like sticky? It's, it's not budging. <laughs> Dude, just cut a corner off. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, at that point, Jesus. There you go. <laughs> so out of all the sandbars, this has the most interesting texture. I do smell apple cinnamon, though. I smell like oatmeal now. Now really? that it's cut. Yeah. I don't smell shit. All right. Going for it. Is there nuts in this? I don't think so. What the hell are those crunchy things? That's a bar. Damn. I was very hopeful because the price of this, <clears throat> I double checked it, was $5. So I was very hopeful that as long as this tasted good, it was my success because $5 for five years. It makes it worth it if it runs out and you didn't have to use it. Hell, that's a good thing that you didn't have to use it. The problem being, I did taste apples and cinnamon. I didn't. It was not enjoyable. Man. You know the biscotti with almonds in it? Yeah. Yeah. But, but like a real faint. Even though I tasted apples and cinnamon, the texture is what lost me. As of right now, the SOS cinnamon is still the best one I've tasted out of all of these. This is a little different than the other textures. Yeah, because like the other textures are like wet sand. This is like this is sand, but dry. Uh huh. Yeah, drier sand. But also it didn't soak all the like no soak, moisture. Yeah, it like was suckage. It was interesting to do this one last, considering every single one has been individually wrapped once we open the initial package. Yeah, the fact that it's not individually wrapped is a little like if you're and one, the thickness. Yeah, the thickness is out of control. My knife couldn't cut that. You can't bite through that. A knife that survived the torture test couldn't cut through the fucking Yeah, and you figure if, you get, if you're caught out and that's all you have, you gotta try and... It's not yeah, gonna happen. Fucking smack it off a tree. Like, I, yeah. I don't get how you do that. I mean, I didn't really taste apples and cinnamon. I tasted a hint of something. But like I said, it was kind of like those like almond biscottis that like... Like the ones you used to get at like the little bodegas that were like way out of date. Individually wrapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of like the flavor profile I got, but a little bit but more see, and, and even what I'm saying is, even with tasting apples and cinnamon, at the end of the day, all of these sandbars have been five years, and that is really what kind of like puts me off of them. I would still go at a mountain house. It's a really like niche market. They're good because they're small, they're compact. I mean, they're right. heavy, but not... Small, that's exactly what I was going to say. Small and compact, but a mountain house in my backpack versus... 
a brick. Yeah. I'm all about that 25, 30 year shelf life. That's a big, big plus for me because I bought a bunch of these. And remember, the cats ripped them open and ate them. Right, right, right. And I was I was all pissed off and everything, and then I realized that they were expired. And oh, I was right. like, yeah, I was like, what the hell? Like, I've only had those for a couple of years. So, like, I think as far as survival food, you want to kind of set it and forget it, put it somewhere in a nice, cool, you know, area, and not have to think about it unless it hits the fan. You need the food. Yeah, this is definitely not going to fit in that category. It's not going to fit in hiking or camping. It's going to fit in like that, like car. You know, no, like That's when you the see only like, thing. like when the when like the military helps out a disaster area and they're like handing out shit. Like that's kind of what I see this. Yeah. As. Which one was the cinnamon one? The Mayday? SOS. When we did the SOS cinnamon, again, no no hopes for it whatsoever. But like the easiest way to explain it is is like you know how they have you got regular sand and you got like that magnetic sand? <laughs> yeah. Like that was like the magnetic sand. Like it had a, a base to it. It and it tasted like cinnamon 100%. And it was good. It was like, wow, you could actually eat a whole bar. Edible. <laughs> this one, I don't get that. This is more towards the sand aspect. Uh-huh. <sighs> anyway. Guys, like, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Hit the bell. Check the new link to our Amazon store. Yes. You know the drill on that one. Other than that, New Age Tactical. Over and out.